One leader from each home group for specific areas where they've really shone um, and kind of gone above and beyond um, in different areas of the programme. Um, so we're going to go through this now. I've got um, Zara as my slide to Double apps. Sorry. Um, and so if your name is called, come to the front and we'll give you your certificate and badge to recognise your achievements. So, oh, okay, so the first award is for media. Um, so this is for demonstrating exceptional online and offline use of media to promote the Beyond in the Food Campaign. So can we have to the front um, Harris Qureshi? Yeah, come up, Jack Swan and Shane writing really engaging blogs and for sending tweets that caught the attention of the CEO at Trussell Trust. We invited Pauline and her volunteers along to see behind the scenes at the Trussell Trust's head office. Um, Andrea for using the resources. <laughs> 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 uh, she has um, reaching out to people in lots of different ways including stalls, radio shows, talks, blogs and even an open mic night. Leadership this is for demonstrating the ability to manage, delegate, and motivate your team of volunteers. So, can we have to the front, please, Rochelle, uh, Jade Solar, Aisha Hamidi, who's not here today, and Sarah Lee? taking up the leadership role this year. She kept in regular communication with all her volunteers and delegated well. They were really involved in all aspects of the campaign and they were into all members of the team. Jade was terrified before campaign one and we loved watching her growing confidence. She led a team of six passionate volunteers and collected over 400 items. We were impressed with her steady, calm and eager to learn open attitude. Go Jade! <laughs> and Aisha had a team of six fantastic volunteers who she kept really motivated and she pulled a fabulous event on campus after having her supermarket food drive cancelled at the last minute. Sarah worked with her team consistently to hit all of the targets and collected great feedback from her volunteers. Um, community engagement, this was for demonstrating um, the ability to successfully involve your local community during the campaign. Um, uh, so, uh, we've got Georgia, Regina, <laughs> Lindsay McDougall and Nat Hawley. <laughs> George's local food bank was quite new, but she really helped spread awareness 
throughout her community about it. Um, she went door to door in her street, got a staff a collection from Marks and Spencers, and ran a workshop at her local scouts group and collected a massive 337 items. Rowena and her team of three volunteers developed a great Twitter campaign, which resulted in three collection events, including a great quiz night. She also engaged her MP um, online and developed strong local links. She became a frequent volunteer at her local food bank and led collections with a local primary school and university. Lindsay is speaking to over 300 people in her community about the campaign, including her MP, and working with Choices for All to offer volunteer opportunities to young adults with learning difficulties. And Nat was smashing his target and engaging with seven different beneficiary organisations as well as four schools and youth groups, even though he just only recently moved to the area. is for impact and this is for going above and beyond exceeding your targets and creating a real impact in your community. So can we have to the front Yasmin Clayson, Evie Hibbert, Attica Dawood and Daniel Green. Woo! So Yasmin put her all into the campaign. She ran an event at her social club, her doors were collection and collection points across the city. She collected 330 items of food and a 242 pound donation with 138 people donating food. She also came up with creative ideas to raise awareness through social media and on her blog and promoted Jason Manfred's campaign. Evie truly exhausted us during this campaign. There seemed to be no stopping her. She collected over 2,000 items of food, engaged with five local schools and two local organizations, and even found time to write a blog too. Evie made a huge impact well done. Attica went above and beyond by holding four outstanding events, including one where she cooked for over 60 people. She managed a team of fabulous volunteers and collected hundreds of food items as well. Toby <coughs> Green amazed us all and collected the, large, the largest number of food items in our home group, which is a staggering 5,000 items. Oh. Um, so now to the home group award. Um, so, um, so as you know, each of you were all awarded points for hitting your targets, but um, also it was for getting your campaign plans um, and reports and budgets all in on time. You got points for being punctual to resi, um, and also for getting your volunteer surveys filled in and sent to us, um, So, as well as the amount of effort you put in. So we all gave you individual points for this, which you would have received in your report. Um, then we took an average of that across the home group, and it's the home group with the most number of points that win this award. Um, and there'll also be, so we'll, we'll get a home group award that, that will be um, given at the end of each campaign, and then an overall winner at the end of the programme. So over to Zara now to award the first home group to be awarded this year. Okay, so the winning team is, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> so the winning team um, really, really amazed us and exceeded their targets and did very, very well as a team. And sometimes being a leader means you have to do things by yourself and you have to walk alone. But as you know by now, being a team leader is not like that at all. It means you're a part of the community. So when one of you is being challenged, you all feel that. And when one of you triumphs, you all triumph. So when you, you achieve success on the campaign, it isn't just you that celebrates and it isn't just your volunteers and it isn't even just your home group, it sends a massive report of awareness across the whole country and every single one of you in here should be proud of that. So a round of applause for you guys. <laughs> two, two more chances to win, so don't feel just hard in if you're, your home group didn't win. And I'd also like to give a round of applause to all the YNCs and Rosie and Terry who worked so Woo! hard on the campaign. <laughs> and Zara! Um, this is what the YNCs had to say about you guys. Um, you know how to tell doubt where to go. Did I say that right? That one? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you've been a fearless bunch and it's been an honour to work with you. It was great to see how much the leaders supported each other, whether it was going to each other's events, sharing each other's tweets, or banding together to help pack food parcels. What really impressed me about my home group was their ability to bounce back from disappointments. What's fantastic is that none of those things mattered and you still achieved awesome things, so keep it up. Again, a bit well done. And the home group with the most points is, drum roll, Amy Senior and London and the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 